Hi, hey guys, it's Jake from Card by Nation. I heard a couple of you wanted to see a deck, great nature deck profile, so here is mine. Alright, so I'll just go through the basics first. So I'll start with Lackable Parrot, it's my starter, it's pretty good. Then I've got 4 heal, um, 7 crit, 5 stand. I'll go through why in a minute. 3 Silorf, 4 Null Guards, 4 of the Hamster, and 4 of the Duckbill. And then you've got Great 2s, 3 Compass Line, 2 Binoculus Tiger, 4 Pencil Knight, 2 Geograph Giant. Great thing is you've got 3 Leopold, 2 Bison, and 2 Magda Pokemon. Alright, now that I've talked about everything. Okay, so I start with Black Parrot because he is ultimately the best starter for Great Nature at the moment. What's the other starter that's fast one, is it? Fast one is that the Acorn Master, isn't it? And, yeah. Um, that's it. And Locks. Oh, and Locks, oh, let's not talk about Locks. Locks is shit. Alright, so Black Parrot's skill is that he obviously he's got Pioneer and then he'll move in to give one of your rearguards ability that if it's retired on the turn you have to draw a card. That is amazing to plus off cards like Pencil Squire and Pencil Knight. As well you can put it on anything pretty much and as long as you sack it off that turn you have to draw a card. So you're not really negging by sacrificing like something like a duck bill or a compass line. Alright. I run a crit four stand because Great Nature is going to be offensive, and this is an offensive build with defensive capabilities because it's got all the draw abilities. So I'll go for that moment. All right, yeah, pretty much. All right, grave ones. So you've got three silver. Wolf. You do not need four in this build. If you're struggling to make numbers with Great Nature, you're a bad player. You've got all the abilities. They give plus four around the place. You should be able to hit higher than 18 pretty simply. Four nulls, because you actually draw a fair bit in this deck. So four nulls is not such a bad thing. Plus you can always kill one if you need to. Four pencil squire. Now this is where the deck combos really start getting into it. Pencil squire's ability is that you can't last one when it hits the drop zone, you add a copy from yourself back to deck. So you're instantly deck finning. You also can combine it with abilities such as Black Parrot, which then allows you to draw an extra card. And also Duckbill. When you call it, you get same ability as Duckbill, so when it's called, you give one ability that if it's retired, you get to draw a card. So if, as you've seen in the gameplay, if I've given that the ability, you can stack the abilities, which is amazing. So if I give the ability from Blackboard Parrot and then the ability from calling Duckbill, when I kill it, I get to draw two cards and then get the skill of Cannabis 1 and add, which you can do in any order. Shut up, John. <laughs> Alright, that's the same combo it works with Pencil Knight. So obviously you get to filter a card and then you get to draw cards initially as well, which is really good. You've got um, the cards that kill cards, obviously. Is you've got your Compass Line. The reason he's good is because he's an 11k, so he's going to hit easily to 18, even with like a duck behind him, or you can give any of the abilities plus four. So yeah, it's pretty good. However, late game, he's not too great because you use him to initially sack off these ones so that he gets the possibilities off not in a late game, because otherwise you have to start killing units that you can't use, because you've usually can at last. And that's where he starts getting and you just intercept with him or something. You've got two Binoculus Tigers, you get the choice, when you attack the Vanguard Circle, you attack the Vanguard, you get plus 4,000 to a Rearguard and then it's killed. This is where you start making your numbers higher than 18, so you can start hitting those cross rides such as Dope and PBO, which is really helpful. You also obviously give plus 4 to these guys, sack it off, draw cards, filter cards, whatever. Two Geograph Giant, you do not need any more than two. He's not really necessary. You've got Compass Lion that's an 11 straight up, and he's got the kill to sacrifice a card. You don't need to run any of these 10k generics. Um, they don't do anything. They're actually just a waste. I've only got them in here because you don't want to run four Binoculus Tiger because then you've got two weak cards on the field, so you might as well just have two. All right, grade threes. Now, I originally tried focusing this build around Bison because I liked his ability that he can unflip damage on the break. However, the card that plus more is Leopold. Just because he's got the fact that he can give plus four to a rear guard and then sack it off without having to use any kind of boss. And then by kind of boss, you can call back to the field. So comboing, you could go, when you're on limit break with that, you've got a grade one on the field, you could call, use your duck build, your parrot on your grade one, your duck build call one on your grade one, Give it plus 4,000, so if it's behind Vanguard, you're hitting for 20, or you're hitting higher than 18 on any rear guard. At the end of the turn, you sacrifice it, count loss one, add a copy back, draw two cards, and then limit break to call it back to the field so you can do it all again next turn. It just allows you to plus overly amount, so you've got all this guard in your hand. 
which then works really well because if you work all your offensive triggers, your defense is the amount of drawing power you've got off your duck bill and your blackboard parrot and the ability to call it back. You only got two mega crocodiles just in case of that problem of hitting numbers. If you put this to the 6k, it hits 18, easy. You can also call like a real chameleon behind it and give that plus four, and it's only hitting over 18 anyway. Alright, and that is the deck so far. Is there any questions you want to ask? Why well, no stamp bottle? Oh, stamp bottle, no, bad card. Um, because, okay, you can give it plus 4,000 and it stays there, so it's a 10k booster pretty much, it's okay. <coughs> but, um, Great Nature's main ability is to plus cards by sacrificing them and then adding them back to hand. So why would you give plus 4,000 to a card that you can't kill? Especially if you know that if you kill like this with any of those abilities on you, get to at least filter. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <coughs> why am I dying? <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.